Hello everybody, this is Tease Lemon. In this video, I'm going to show you this little frame door device here that I've made using the Red Power frame motors and a few of the components. I got the idea of this from one of Doc M77's recent videos. He showed a thing like this he made for his um, penguin enclosure, but it was quite a bit bigger, and I thought it'd be quite a challenge to try and compact it. And this is what I made it down to. It's three by five or two by five how you want to count it just sending signal into one of the other wires here so when it goes through the yellow it's closing it when it goes through the blue it opens now with all things with red power you could easily have a script on a computer and that would do it all for you but I think that's a bit cheating and I haven't a clue how to use Lua so it's red power components for me the way this works is quite simple and will work for any size frame door you want. It doesn't have to be a two converging doors like this. It could just be one big door going up and down or however you want it. This is just the way I've set it up. You just need to make sure you wire it to the right motors. So the way this works is, well, first I'll explain what the components are. These here are T flip flops. See, when you power them, they'll flip states. So now it's powering that side, powering that side. And there's three of them with times in the middle set to 0 0.8 seconds. And I think that's about the optimum time delay for the doors. So you see that moving. So what happens is when I press the button, this is going to switch, which powers, which just changes the power from holding this off to just doubly powers that which is already being held off by this so that allows for that and after this delay here which is quite long with the red power repeaters it then flicks it then flicks this which then powers on that and turns off again so if you watch after a while that repeaters uh, that T flip flop switched over and turned it off and the same thing happens on this side but it doesn't make this one spin when this flips after the time because this bit flipped over to hold it off. So it just mirrors again. See that when that delay gets through, it turns that off. So overall it's a pretty simple circuit. And all that does is I have the well, one pulse going through here and the other going through the blue. So the outside motors are marked yellow and the inside are blue so it does a different thing each time. In these frame motors need to be powered by blue electricity, which I'm just getting from a little solar array here. And the great thing about these is, um, red power machine can share power between them as long as they're connected. Like all these bat boxes here are sharing power, and I'm just powering this frame motor, but that's sharing power with the one you can't see next to it, which is a pretty handy feature. And also these blocks up here is just to stop that being sent out any further and that one sticking at the end there is so when I do this see it can be grabbed from by this frame mode and pulled out again rather than having to have one on show in the door there which is pretty useful and if you're having bigger doors than this you can have massive doors than this just set these to the maximum delay. They do take an incredibly long time, these red power repeaters, when on that setting, and that would just work for any size door. But with this door, I think that position seems to be the optimum, and that allows for just the right amount of ticks with none left over. So, I'm going to show you how to build this little circuit here now. So, I'll have my input here. That wants to go into a T flip flop or toggle latch as they're called. You have to place them from the side so you can input them from that bit and they output out of either side. See, well, that wire's on, that wire's off. So we have timers like that. See, this time is allowed to spin while this is toggled off. So 0 0.8 seconds. And then you want your 
um, red power repeaters out here, and for this six, well, for this it's a three wide door. I have it one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still at six. Well, it's not six ticks. It's have along 0.8 times three or four is just about that. Then another toggle latch there. I'm going to place it on the side. Place another toggle latch on the side there, and that piece going to block. And at the start here, yeah, it was the face. Sorry, uh -huh. it doesn't make any difference which side the torch is on, but it looks better. And we want to make sure all of the little levers, when it's when you haven't pressed the button, all facing the right direction. See, when I press this. By the end, they'll all end up facing the same direction again. And then what you want to do is take to take the output. I'm going to have blue for we can have that for retraction, yellow for opening, or blue for closing, yellow for opening. Send that into a bundled cable, and then just run this bundled cable off to wherever your frame motors are, like I've got here, and just have them going with frame motors. And you can have these doors going up or down or anything. As I said earlier, they don't have to be a converging door. You can just have a massive garage door, however you like it. And just make sure the frame motors have enough stored up red power energy so that they'll actually close every time if they're in a um, high traffic area that you want them. Or if you're only rarely using them, just make sure you've got a little solar ray like that and that should keep them nice and topped up. So. Thank you for watching this little Feed the Beast video and goodbye.